is uh, Tuesday, everybody. Hopefully you had a nice weekend. I know it wasn't yesterday, but I kind of warned you I probably wouldn't be. And yeah, yesterday I was in that. Uh, actually, Klamath Falls after dropping off a seminary up in Malaysia, Oregon, and just couldn't make it back on uh, on Sunday. It was just too tiring. So anyway, I'm here today. Uh, still kind of tired. But our gospel day is from Matthew 23 verses, chapter 23 verses 23 through 26. And it is uh, an interesting scene because we have Jesus and he's on the attack uh, with the religious leaders at this time, these few leaders, is calling them on their basically lack of integrity, that they're, they're only interested on the superficial part, but that the inward conversion is not happening. So there's this, this dichotomy. And so he's calling them on it and he calls them clearly because they're leaders and they, he wants them to know better and to be better instance sources of inspiration for people because by leaving leaving this kind of hypocritical life they're not inspiring the people but also here's what i was thinking on this too that if we're if i'm leading you know kind of that that hypocritical life i think it also tells me that i'm not i haven't fully accepted what jesus is, is teaching or what this is really about that the superficial part allows me to get away with it, but I have my, my heart hasn't given it to the, to the message yet. You know, it's kind of like the saying, like, you know, we tell someone, don't smoke, it's bad for you, yet we're still smoking away. It's because, yeah, we know smoking is bad, but we haven't kind of got into it yet. We have a addiction or something like that. So what Jesus is saying here is, you know, he's talking about uh, living that faith of being integrity, a, a sign of that, Integrity of faith is integrity of life, and if we haven't fully adopted it in our lives, in our head, in our hearts, <coughs> excuse me, then I don't think we truly believe it yet. So that how do we get to that point? I think we have to wrestle with that. That's why we have to look at our lives and say, okay, where is that that dichotomy? Mm -hmm. well, I have to. And I know I have to. So look at our lives. Again, it's encouragement. Look at our lives to see maybe where that, that imbalance is because that's telling us something important about where we need to grow. All right, guys. Hopefully that made sense. I will see you back here on Wednesday tomorrow.